welcome back to Rabbit Sheridan. Today it is the one year anniversary of me owning Lucky. I'm super excited. So in this video, I just kind of wanted to talk about what went down and why Savannah started riding him and why now I'm back on him. It's like, whoa, I'm back on him. So I'm going to be talking about that right now. exactly one year ago today on January 25th of 2020. Now me and Lucky went through a lot. There was good, there was bad, and everything in between. So let's start in February, which is about the first month I had him. So we had some good runs. There will be some clips all over the screen, I'm sure. So yeah, you know, we ran at some places. We went to Oklahoma, we went to Texas, you know. We went a couple places and you know, everything was great. And then we got to March. So in March, uh, we went to the Patriot. That was the big show we went to. It was the Patriot in Fort Worth, Texas. That was right when I was starting YouTube. So the video is kind of low quality, but we went and you know, it was, it was great. We had some okay runs. You know, I was getting still getting to know Lucky and Hank actually made it back to the finals. So it was really a lot of fun. And then of course we all got quarantined. And you know, through April and May, I was just kind of riding him at home. And then at, in May, we went to a show, our first show since quarantine. You know, everything was good, everything went fine. You know, everything was good. And then in June, his runs started getting a little bit like, kind of shaky, you know, he was missing some of the turns and, you know, kind of like wanting to leave a little earlier than I would like him to because normally he would just walk right down the alleyway. And he actually, back in like, I think it was like in May, he had started getting some like rubs on his neck. And we all thought that it was for the cribbing collar that we had been keeping on him or he had been eating through the fence. So we just kind of, you know, put some medicine on it and just kind of was like, whatever, you know. I mean, it's just like, he's just been eating through the fence. So at All American, he had some okay runs, a 15-0 and a 14-9. You know, he, it wasn't great though. It wasn't the best he could do. And then we got to July and it was just really like he was running through my hands and it just, we weren't having good runs. And then there was one run, which I never put on the YouTube channel and I probably never will, that uh, he didn't want to go in the gate. And then we had a horrible run after that. I'm not gonna go any more into detail because that was a terrible run. I'm sorry, my dogs are barking, but, um, you know, we went into that, and we did it, and, you know, like, like I said, you know, he, we had a terrible run after he had had some issues outside going into the pen, and then in August, you know, after it had been so bad in July, we started putting Savannah on him, and we were like, okay, maybe Savannah can fix him, it's just the rider, he's just taking advantage of me. So then we got to, uh, he was still not doing right with Savannah. And then we got to September and at Horse Poor Barrel Race, I'll leave that linked below. I actually at the end of that video, I said, it'll only be a few vlogs. And it ended up being forever until I posted that video. But turns out at um, Horse Poor, he actually got diagnosed. He had an EPM flare up. EPM is basically like it's a neurological disorder in horses they get it from you know uh possums and stuff like that will get in their food and contaminate it and then that causes the horses to get sick so lucky unfortunately was having a flare-up of epm which basically means he had had it previously and then it was flaring back up so we put him on medicine you know in october savannah was still running him some we got to november and in November, uh, you know, I got to get back on him for the first time at the Thanksgiving Calver Rodeo. I literally I was almost crying when I came out because he was just so much better. It was just so much better. I was going to cry. Like, it was just, oh my gosh. It was just incredible. And so then in December, 
we actually went to Junior World Finals, which is good, is posted. Uh, check that out. It, you know, we, he didn't actually get to run any of that trip, but I'll leave Junior World Finals link below. But he was there. He did come as a backup horse. And then here we are in January. I ran him at the Cowboy Rodeo, and we had a 16.6 and a 16.5, and it was awesome, super exciting. And here we are, we're on the anniversary of one year with Lucky. So that's the explanation. I'm gonna let y'all watch some clips of runs and just pictures of the cute little collage. And then I'll wrap this video up. YouTube video. I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. I'm so happy that I have Lucky in my life. He's such a good horse. I love him to pieces. Even if he does have a little bit of medical issues, we are not going to let it get as bad as it did. We're going to manage it and I'm so happy to have him back. So I hope you had fun on your ride with Sheridan. Remember, ride with your heart and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!